Three key elements your website must have. Hello, it's John again. Welcome. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast. Yee! It's episode 621. Add a note there. That's a lot. I've been busy. But nothing really changes. So some of the things I will talk about will reiterate what I've said before. For those of you that have implemented those, you'll love what I say because you'll think, yeah, I did that. That worked really well. For those of you that haven't implemented what I said, this is a chance for you to think, oh, oh yes, I should have done that and I haven't done it yet. The reason I'm telling you is to help you out. The reason I'm doing it for free is because I enjoy helping you out, (laughs) honestly. And the other reason I do it for free like this is because it frustrates me that this information is available, but there is nowhere to learn it. You just can't. I mean, not your fault. This is not your fault. This is a fact that the information, generally the, the traditional ways of learning things are kind of slow. The way things are developed are such that with modern marketing, with modern methods and social media and the internet, because it all works so fast and moves so fast and changes so quickly, then a lot of the information you get, by the time it is produced into training, it's out of date, it's done. Or it's taught by people that learnt their craft many years ago and now teach it, but they teach what they learnt many years ago. Most of the people that are teaching current things are doing it and they're not teaching it. A lot of the people that are teaching current things have never actually done it. They're just making money by telling you that they'll show you how to make lots of money online. Unfortunately, the vast majority of them, and I promise the vast majority of them are not making money online. They are trying to make money by telling you how to make money using the methods that they've just read up online. You might think, oh John, but why do you do it? Surely you make money. So let me tell you. uh, By the way, I will get to the three elements of it. But the reason I do this, yes, I have the Owners Club. The Owners Club has got about 1,200 members, right? It is great fun. Now there is a paid level of the owners club and I will very, very, very clearly state in my personal opinion that the free version is just a stepping stone. It's put there to uh, give you something but you're not going to learn as much as in the paid version. But in the paid version it costs just £29 per month. I think that's about 35 bucks, $35 American. It is not a lot. The good news is that if you join and you don't like it, or you don't get time to use it, or it's not what you thought, or it's too hard or something like that, or it, it, or it's not applicable to you, you just ask to send in an email and you get your money refunded. It doesn't matter. And, I, and, uh, and I'll tell you this, uh, there are a couple of people that have been refunded. And one thought it was too difficult. The, the content was too difficult. I'm not actually sure, but we don't quibble. We don't ask questions. We just gave the guy's money back. And we're still friends. I still said, you know, let me know. He's, he's still a free member. That's on the paid. So, but in, in this, we give you a roadmap, a roadmap which gives you a foundation. It gives you the modernization level and it gives you the growth level. And what I do in there is I am available for one-on-one chats. And and that's via Skype or via phone call at my expense. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. I have a little calendar you can book in and so you can check out that it's convenient for you and it's a good time. You pick your time and I will talk to you and I will discuss your business if it's a cupcake selling business, a lawn mowing business, an accountancy business, or you're a massive manufacturer or electrical wholesaler, it doesn't matter. Or a fire safety business, hi guys, Um, it doesn't matter. But all of it is to help you and what I'm going to tell you is what I do. Yes, I run successful online businesses. You don't really need to know how much money we do, but I'll tell you. 
Now, in UK money, we generate about two and a half million pounds online. In fact, you might have heard recent ones, so I said we generate about two million pounds. We've just had a bit of a growth spurt because I made some changes based on my experience for my own business, <coughs> even though I'm hardly ever there. And we've had a bit of a growth spurt. I'm going to have another one. I can do the same for you. And you think, why would I tell you all that stuff? Because I can't stop talking and I can't help it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like I said, join 20. Oh, if you, sorry, did I not say? I'm not very good at these advertising things. Um, go to theownersclub.co. It kind of redirects you back to the site, but gets you right to the right page. And you can then just join at 29 pounds a month. If you, if you pay for five months, you get six. Uh, that's 145. It's hardly expensive. Honestly, trust me, it's good stuff. And, um, oh, I haven't got a copy here. And we send you out a CD. We send you out a, a magazine sort of news, not a newsletter, it's kind of magazine every month. Uh, they are pretty cool. I'm chuffed to bits with those. And we send those anywhere in the world. Who else? Tell me. Tell me anyone else where you join online and you get sent stuff for real that's not just an email. There is, the, the magazine is not an email version, it's printed. Anyway, enough about that. It's telling you about three things that you need, three elements on your website. There are many, <laughs> to actually pick three was kind of tricky. Number one, and so this is very current. It is, I'm recording this, it is April 2017. Very current, has been for a long time and will get more so. High quality, large, images. Let me say it again, high quality, large images. Now you're thinking, oh, high quality, what does he mean? Your iPhone and your Android takes incredibly high quality images. They are good enough. But large images, put large ones on your website. Do, uh, some places you have to have little thumbnails, that is fine. But on the actual post, large images, because people want to share them because they like your post. They want to share your post on Pinterest. Pinterest is gonna pick a large image, looks better. They want to share it on, uh, they want to put something on um, Facebook and on Twitter. Larger images look better, okay? So, and it stands out when you've got good images. Look at any website that's got, that's old fashioned and it's got little ones in from back, built in the day when Im big images took forever to load. Doesn't work like that anymore, not if you've got a good website. It doesn't work like that. Everything is fast. I mean, you can play, you can watch Netflix on your phone. It all is fast these days. So that is, that is important. Oh, and Instagram and Snap, you know, everything is visual. Just trust me. That's number one. Step two, uh, or element number two, is your About Us page. Everybody is likely to have an About Us page, whatever you call it. Um, personally, I would say something like that. Just stick with the basics. People know what it means, like contact us, About Us. People know what it is. It's going to be probably the second most popular page on your entire website. So make it about you or about the company. People don't trust you because they don't know you. You are online. You could be anywhere. You could be in China, in Russia, in, in Yemen in Afghanistan, in Hong Kong, who knows? It doesn't matter, they don't trust you. So don't on your website, uh, we are a, we are a, and say all the products and services you do, they wanna know about you. Who are you? What do you look like? What are you scared of? Uh, and by the way, if you won't put your picture there, why not? What are you scared of? Okay, think about it. So they want to know about you, tell them about you. Tell them your why, tell them why you set up the business, tell them the history of the business. People want to know. It just helps them trust you. It doesn't matter if, if uh, you're not selling anything. If you want them to come back, they want to get a relationship and a connection. So that is a must. Number three, simple, calls to action. So every single page of your website should tell somebody what to do, what you want them to do. So they read down a post, they read it all, they get to the end. Just imagine, imagine there's something now. What next? What now? Now what? Sorry. What do you want them to do? 
callers. If you're going to say callers, callers on and write the phone number. Don't say, oh, it's printed at the top of the website. By now, they're at the bottom of the website. They can't see the top. Did you, do you think they all think it's up there because they've seen your website hundreds of times? Do you think, oh, they can just go to the contact us page? No, some are on mobile, so they're in a hurry. Why wouldn't you do it? What's the, ah. anyway, cool. If you're gonna say, or contact us, put a link to your contact us page or write your email address. Then they can just click it. But a call to action, and on your homepage, if you want people to sign up on a list, tell them to do it and give them a reason why. Those three elements alone will transform your website. And how simple is that? There you go. Give this away for nothing. Anyway, a uh, quick one. It's Tuesday. Uh, what am I talking about? It's <laughs> the, the. I'm looking over here because I've got a note. <coughs> it's Monday. It's Monday to uh, a book for the week. And poor old Bryony, I was going to forget her then. Bryony Thomas. She's lovely. She's, she's from the UK. Her book, Watertight Marketing, is a full walkthrough of everything you need to do about marketing. She's very, very good. I highly recommend it. Honestly, it's got pictures as well. And she talks about leaky buckets and all these things. It all makes sense. Watertight Marketing, Bryony Thomas, a great read. I promise you. Get it on Amazon or Book Depository, wherever, or direct from her. I'll be back tomorrow.